This is Dr. Susan Thrall. I'm going to demonstrate an error when doing a calculated field query. This often happens to many students and they get a parameter error and they don't know what caused it or what to do about it. Alright, here we have our query design screen. We have two tables, contract and invoice, and we've pulled several fields off the contract table, including the contract number, contract amount, and three fields off the invoice table, including invoice item, invoice paid, and invoice amount. Notice we have a criterion in the invoice paid column. We want to see the people or the contracts that have not been paid. And we've also turned off the showing of this column. We've done this in one of the previous videos. So that when we run it, we have a list of the contracts that haven't been paid and how much the contracts are. Going back to the design sc screen, we decide that we're going to charge a late fee of 3% of the invoice amount for those contracts that have not been paid. So to do the calculated field, we go to the field box of an empty column, type in our name, and a colon, and after the colon we type in our mathematical formula to calculate that late fee, which is going to be the invoice amount times 3%. Now this time I'm going to deliberately make an error when typing in the invoice amount. So notice I type in my square brackets, I type in invoice amount, close my square brackets, and I'm multiplying times 0 0.03. Now, what's the error here? The error is that I misspelled, or actually misspaced, invoice amount. In the field, there's a space between invoice and amount, as you can see here in the field list, and here also. And I deliberately typed it without a space, so that when I look at my formula, I have invoice amount in the square brackets as it should be, times 0 0.03, that part is correct, but the spacing is not. So when I run my query, I get a enter parameter value window that appears. What the computer is saying here is, I will do this calculation for you, but I don't know what invoice amount is. So please enter what is this invoice amount with no space. I only know invoice amount with the space, so for the computer this makes no sense whatsoever. Now, you don't enter anything here. The best thing is to say cancel. Look at your mathematical formula that you put in and try to determine what kind of a spelling or spacing error you made. When you get a parameter box like that, it's usually that you've misspelled the field name or you've misspaced the field name. So if I go down here, and I insert a space in invoice amount, then run my query again, it will work. So you can see this time I get my late fee here. So when you have a parameter error, look for a spelling error in your formula or a spacing error in your formula.